Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to go over our Vermabag Max. Now, this is the one that we, seven days ago, I added a ton of diatomaceous earth, and I added crushed eggshells. We did a harvest of it, but it needs food. And the reason why we did all this at once without feeding it was to try to get rid of these fruit flies. So if you watch my video from last week, you'll see that I emptied out the bottom. We took a lot of material out of the bottom. All looked fantastic, except for the bones that it made it through from the Bakashi. But other than that, it looked like fantastic material. But now it's time to really get this top working again and really get this bin churning through materials. So the first thing we need to do is we need to see if the fruit fly issue is taken care of. I'm hoping that seven days is enough time for this stuff to work. Now, I do want to talk about the diatomaceous earth that I added. I know that a lot of people commented saying that it needs to be dry for it to work. I had used it dry last time and it didn't work all that well. I read about using it wet which apparently doesn't work quite as well, but at the same time, it sticks to stuff a little better. So it kind of grabs on and then it dries out as it's drying. That's where you really get all the coating of, of, of materials better. So it's coated on all the sides and that way the flies have better contact. So it does need to be dry to work. And maybe if I just really spray down the top of the bin, maybe it would work, but also it might not work because they can walk right past it. You know, maybe it's only on the top and they're walking on the sides. Unless they walk on that top, they're not going to hit the material that actually will break their shells and, and cause them to dehydrate and die. So let's take a look and see how it's doing. I'm really hoping for a massive reduction. I'm hoping that maybe I see one or two, but no more than that. So let's see how the bin is doing and go from there. And maybe we'll add some food this time because I know that they really need it. We're really working through that bedding material. So let's take a look and see how it's doing. All right, so I have a little bit of extra light here today to really get a good glimpse in here to see if we have fruit flies. And I'm really, as I said, hoping that there's only a couple in here, but I know that these worms are desperate for food. All right, I'm seeing more than a couple already, and no, it's still a fruit fly issue. So I think we're gonna have to, I think part of what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take this off. We still have a lot of fruit flies coming out of here. I'm gonna have to get these worms off of here with some water. And we're going to have to pry using this tight to masses earth, just spreading it very, very generously over the top here. Again, I will need my, um, my mask on when I'm doing that. But first off, let me grab some gloves. Let's scrape these worms off of here because I think that that's part of the, uh, this is keeping it mo too moist maybe. So it's not drying out. So let's just scrape these worms off and put them back in the bin here. And they're just sliding right off here, luckily. I was a little bit worried about them really sticking, but it's pretty dry in here. Except for this one little section right here. All right, almost got them all. Can I get them all? One right here. One right here at the bottom. And I think that is it. So we're going to take this out for now. So this is our top that I normally keep on here. I'm going to take that out and put it off to the side. We're just going to kind of dig in here for a second, just take a look at the material. Definitely see a lot of fruit flies still coming out of here, which is... As I said, sort of disappointing. I was really hoping that we could work through this and try to get rid of all this, these uh, fruit flies. Really good looking material in here still. I do feel that this needs a feeding though. I think I am gonna put in some food, even though I wasn't planning to originally. By the way, here's another little bone here coming out. So let's take that off and throw that to the side here. I'm trying to take out all the bones. I'm trying not to leave them in there over the long term. Oh, here's another one. I'm gonna put that to the side as well. All right, so. What we're going to do here is I'm going to just kind of dig down into the center here. I'm not adding any bedding material this time. We're just going to go down into the center here, and we're going to give these guys a nice big feeding in the center. So just try to try to get some of this material out of the way. There we go. So I've got a nice large pile of stuff here ready to go. This is all frozen, so there should be no fruit flies on this. Hopefully. And this is a mixture of stuff. This has some citrus in it and some peels. And as I said, I'm going to put in a large feeding in here. And we're going, to, we're going to bury this anyhow, so I'm not too worried about it. So there we go. Nice big feeding for them. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cover this up really, really well. So now this is really covered up. We still have our big pieces of paper in here too, which I think is part of the Part of the problem with uh, large pieces of paper, I think they leave a lot of places for these bugs to sort of hide out in and everything. And now what we're going to do is we're going to leave the rest of this off. We're not going to put that plastic cover back on, but what I'm going to do is grab some of that diatomaceous earth 
and we're going to add that to the top. We're really going to try to eliminate this fruit fly issue. We're going to spread this on. First thing I'm going to do here though is grab my mask. As I said, I have K95 masks linked down below along with the Diet Tomasis Earth. Remember you want a good mask. You don't want one of the real inexpensive ones. You want a good one because this is it's important to take care of your lungs. So my mask is on now and now it's time to add our Diet Tomasis Earth and hopefully as I'm leaving off that other layer this is going to just dry out. So we're going to really spread this on here. You can see I'm really putting this on heavy. I'm not going to mix it in this time because we still have a lot of fruit flies. I'm putting this all over the sides, all over everything. Now I will say the fruit fly issue, while there were still fruit flies, it wasn't as bad I feel as it was the last time I opened it. And it last time I, when I was digging down, I was still getting more fruit flies. This time it just seemed to stop. So, you know, it was about 20 of them, I think. But there we go. This is really, really coated in here. This is going to dry out too. So even if the material that I have is a little bit wet, this is going to dry out and hopefully this is going to get rid of this fruit fly issue. So, there we go. I've got a fruit fly right there. Hopefully this material is going to dry out. I did get a little bit on my hands. Normally you want to wear gloves while you're doing this too. Um, but hopefully this is going to dry out and these fruit flies are going to go away because this is getting really, really annoying as far as dealing with them. And I really want to take care of this issue so I don't have to... I can add more food to this bin and really get it going. Because once they're out of here, this mesh netting works really well to keep the fruit flies out. So... As you, I just want to, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. As you can see, it's really on here thick. All right, I didn't just put it a little bit in. I really spread it on. This stuff isn't too expensive on Amazon. So I think the uh, dust has settled. I'm going to take my mask off now. So that's my update for this. I just want to let you guys keep you informed here. So this is seven days in. There were still fruit flies. As other people have said, you're really supposed to have this sort of be, uh, you know, dry, not wet. And I'm hoping that this... With this type of coating on here, it's really going to work this time. And next time I open this up, I'm hoping there's, as I said, one or two or less. I don't want seven or eight or 20 or anything like that. I really want to have almost zero. So that's my update for this week. We're going to close this up. I'm going to keep coming back to this. I'm going to try to come back early again. I'm hoping that feeding that I added to it, because the worms are getting a little low on food, it doesn't cause any issues. But I think it's deep enough where it should be okay. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any feedback, again, let me know. As I said last time, everyone was right in the comments. This stuff needs to be dry. This diatomaceous earth that I'm adding in here it needs to be dry to work. But it says you can add it in. And even right now, I think it's a little bit damp. The bag isn't quite like 100% powder dry. It's not flaking up everywhere like it was when I first opened it when I bought it. So... You know, I think it has absorbed some moisture from there. I'm hoping that this will dry out while it's in here and hopefully take care of these fruit flies. So thank you for watching. Remember, I do have Amazon links below, and it really does help me out if you subscribe to my channel and thumbs up my videos. Thank you for watching.